In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this TRQ lower door hinge on the rear door of this Chevy Silverado. The process for both left and right doors is exactly the same, so let's get started. These hinges can be done one at a time, although if one is bad, I recommend replacing both because, well, they both opened and closed the same amount of times, so most likely they are both in similar condition. So I'm gonna take the inner bolt out first, grab a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, break these free and remove them all the way. I'm gonna break this one free too, and then switch to a shorter ratchet so I can get a little bit better speed in here. And there's one. And two, now the bottom hinge is unbolted from the door. To support the weight of the door, I'm using a floor jack with just a piece of wood in here to space it out because this door is pretty tall and a rubber pad to basically uh, soften up the force on the door side. But also this has a groove in it and that groove fits right on the door. So at this point I can put minimal pressure, just like so. Don't need to go very far. You don't wanna bend the top hinge. This is now, well, it's not gonna pivot because it has the spring, but you can see there's a gap in there. Now you're gonna need a 13 millimeter socket or wrench to break these bolts free, the ones that sit on the B pillar. Okay, there's one. If you open your front door, you should be able to access the other one easily. Also a 13 millimeter, remove that one as well. As you can see, the hinge pivots down because it's now not really held on with anything anymore. Support the hinge, remove this last bolt. Raise up the door if needed just a little bit and take the hinge right out. Bring in the new hinge. Line it up. I'm gonna thread in the bolt on the front side first just because it's the easiest one to access. And I'm not going to tighten it. I'm just going to get it snugged up a little to support the hinge but I want it to move around still so I can align it properly. Okay, so that's just enough to support it. Let's get this other bolt started in as well. It starts in nice and smooth, which is perfect. That means the threads are lined up. Before I completely tighten these, I'm gonna loosen this one up a little bit. What I'm gonna do now is bring the door closer and then bolt this onto the door first. Since the top hinge is still in, it actually helps me to line everything up perfectly. Very slowly bring the door closer. It has made contact with the hinge, so I'm gonna stop. I still wanna be able to move this around and I'm going to start in these two bolts. As you can see, these two bolts have a shoulder on them right beside the head of the bolt and that actually helps pull the hinge into position. I'm gonna thread them in all the way. These holes do not have pretty much any adjustment to them, unlike the other ones on the B-pillar side. So as soon as I do this, the hinge should line up. Those shoulders are now seated, and that means I can tighten these bolts up fully. So I'm gonna grab my longer ratchet for some leverage and snug them up. Give them about an eighth of a turn after they bottom out. If you want to, you can put thread locker on them, but these should not be extremely tight. They are not very large bolts, so you don't want to break them in the door. And now, with everything positioned right, let's make sure that this is still in position here, and then tighten up the bolts. The best way to get the hinge lined up at this point, that everything is tightened on the door side and snug on the B-pillar side, is to actually close the door. That will position it in its ideal or optimal position so that it doesn't have any odd tension on it. So you're gonna have to probably lift it a little bit, latch it in with the door closed, grab your long ratchet and snug these bolts up. All right, about an eighth of a turn after they bottom out should be good. Now test out the door to make sure it opens and closes as it should with minimal effort. That feels perfect, so we're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.